happy? Yeah. Hi. Are you happy? Oh, she's walking away. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to the vlog. As you can see, I'm at Steven's parents' cottage and while they're ice fishing, I thought I would do a bit of a ballet class. Now I have not washed my face, brushed my teeth, done any makeup. It's almost noon, I slept in a bunch. I did a little bit of work on my vlog that's going up this Sunday, I guess. And yeah, I was gonna have a shower and I was like, you know what, I'll dance a little bit. So I threw on my point shoes and I'm gonna do a Catherine Morgan fast bar. Right here, I'm gonna use the countertop, but I have to show you guys the view first. It's so gorgeous outside. My favorite part about this cottage is, oh my goodness, I forgot I locked it, <laughs> is the porch because you have this gorgeous view. I mean, come on. cottage we did a lot of winter activities even just the drive down towards the water was so beautiful and scenic we we're really really fortunate this year to have such great weather look at how beautiful and blue the skies are and the sunset in the evening was so pretty i have to show you guys the twinkle of the stars and the color in the sky was just so inspiring and i felt so calm and so happy seeing how beautiful the sunset was and that's one of my favorite parts about this cottage vacation or staycation just the connection with nature and getting out, exploring, and there are actually some people climbing on the ice. It's kind of difficult to see in these videos, but I'll have to post it on my Instagram stories because it was pretty wild. Cottage vacation always goes by so quickly, and before I knew it, we were back at home, and we got Twisted Indian on the way home in the city before we actually arrived. And I really did take a vacation after my vacation when I got home. I got back into work, but I took some time off from vlogging just so I could kind of relax, rejuvenate, and re-inspire myself to vlog. I did vlog while I was at the cottage, but as you guys can see, all I really vlogged when I got home were a few shots of Elsa, some coffee, and what I ate for a few days. And then I also went into town and I took you guys with me. So I'm on my way to the grocery store. I'm in the car right now. I'm about to go on the road and I'll catch you guys when I get home. I'm gonna answer a Q&A on my Instagram stories for today's vlog. So I'll do that while I do my makeup when I get home. After some grocery shopping in town, I stopped at Copper Nuts, which is a nut shop, and they make the most delicious maple roasted pecans. You guys know I had to pick some of those up. I also got some fudge for Steven because he loves fudge, and I also got these fractal chocolates, which are delicious. It has toffee in the middle, and look at how cute these little bowls are. I love little snack bowls. I was tempted to get the cat ones, so maybe that'll just have to be a present to myself once I hit 50k subscribers on YouTube. Comment down below if you think we can get to that by the end of the year. Let's try. 
guys it's been a long time since i vlogged it's february 24th and i took some time off from content creation in general just for you know a bit of a mental health break the internet can get kind of dark sometimes so um i'm back and i'm gonna finish out this vlog and answer the questions i told you guys i would answer on my instagram q a so while i get ready for a dance competition i'm going to later today i figured i would answer all of those questions let's get into it how long have you been doing ballet most of my life i have an entire video on my youtube channel on how i started ballet and why i quit pretty much everything i've just been spilling all the tea to you guys for the last year favorite ballet step i I'd say PK turns across the floor are by far my favorite ballet steps. I just, I love the feeling of turning. I don't love the feeling of from two foot to one foot. I like just going from one foot to the next foot because I just feel like I'm always on my balance better. What's your favorite fashion brand? Oh my gosh, that's hard to pick. I love Pop Flex because I love the skorts that they've gifted me and I love the feel of them. I can tell they're really high quality and beautifully made. I love Yumiko in terms of leotards. Leotards. And in terms of fashion, I love Vivian Westwood. Like if we're thinking high fashion, like if I ever went to red carpet. One day, Vivian Westwood would be my number one top choice, probably. What age did you really start to feel your passion for dance? I was probably maybe like 10, 11, 12, whenever my ballet teacher at the time suggested I audition for Canada's National Ballet School. That's what really sparked the fire, I guess you could say, and really inspired me to pursue it a little bit more seriously. Do you miss working in a company? I do, and I don't. By the way, I'm gonna use this Ilya coverage. Super Serum Skin Tint with hydrating natural UVA, UVB protection, niacinamide, squalene, and hyaluronic acid. I do and I don't miss dancing in a company. I like the flexibility of the hours that I have now. Today, for example, I'm going to a dance competition, but I was working today, but I took a day off because I asked my clients, obviously I didn't just like cancel them. I asked them, can you move so I can go to this dance competition later today? And because I am my own boss, I have the flexibility to film or not film like I did this week. So I love what I do now. I wouldn't trade it in to go into a company I genuinely love what I do. But at the same time, I do miss the atmosphere of doing class every single morning. I haven't done class in like since the cottage. I think the last time I actually did a ballet class was probably about a week ago. Yeah, exactly a week ago because I did class on a Thursday when we were at the cottage on vacation. I kind of took a vacation after vacation from dance, but that's fine. Can you please do a flexible video because it's so difficult for me to be flexible. I'm doing ballet. I do have an entire playlist of ballerina workouts and technique tips on my channel and I'll link it to my description box as well as in the cards up here. I started ballet at 14 and I've just gotten points at 15. Realistically, is it too late to consider ballet as a job? Absolutely not. I started point at 14, so I'm very similar to you. And I thought it was gonna be impossible for me to start. And I did a professional career for five years. I could have done longer, but I chose to drop it for my mental well-being as well as the financial aspect. Um, anyways, that's besides the point. But yes, it is absolutely possible for you. How tall are you? I am five foot five. I'm actually five foot four and a half, but she did not hear that. Here, which physical problems did you get because of ballet? Oh my goodness, I think I've did a, done a video on my TikTok on all of the injuries that I've had because of ballet. Stress fractures galore. I've had three stress fractures. Those are probably the biggest injuries I've ever had. Physical problems, I don't have any right now, long lasting from ballet. Um, my hips tend to get like stiff because of it and because of turning out all my life. But other than that, I'm pretty healthy actually now. Did you ever experience body dysmorphia due to ballet culture? Yes, I actually went through an ED when I was in ballet school, not because of ballet really it's because of everything i was going through at the time my dad was really sick passed away when i was 17 and it just got worse for me then so i have i think it had more to do with that i could open up in a separate video about this topic if you guys want um i just don't want to delve into it in this video i want to keep things a little bit more light but definitely comment down below if you want my story and how i got through it what are your current ballet goals i would say to just get through variation because that's probably the most difficult thing for me also got a giant pimple that i kind of picked up this morning I shouldn't have but um just getting through variation overall because I haven't been able to get through variation in a very long time I tried to get through the bluebird variation a few months ago and that was not possible for me so just stamina in general because I'm good in terms of stamina when it comes to like just working a while or like doing a long workout but when it comes to dancing oh my gosh my stamina is terrible what was your biggest struggle when coming back to ballet definitely stamina stamina was by far the worst thing when i came back to ballet and it still is the worst thing i'm not gonna lie what is your favorite drink 
probably in terms of Starbucks drinks. Let's say Starbucks drinks. My favorite drink would be, oh, I don't know. I love a good pumpkin spice latte, but probably a good pumpkin spice latte or matcha latte with oat milk. Do you do any other sports other than ballet? No, I specifically do ballet. That is the only sport I do and really have ever done. I was never much of a team sport person. Even when it came to group routines, I liked dancing by myself because it's harder to keep in timing with everybody else. Like it is harder to be in court of ballet sometimes than it is to be the soloist. So I genuinely just did ballet for the most of my life. How could I be a ballerina at home without going to a club and without coach? What videos should I watch? There's so many on the internet, like you guys and me, I guess too, because I take classes online. We are at such an advantage right now with the internet. Go online, check out different workshops. You can do some workshops are as inexpensive as like $5 for an hour, $10 for an entire workshop. Go check out workshops, but also go look on YouTube. There's so many dance classes. Some ones I can recommend would be Catherine Morgan's classes. I love doing the het national one that's for more advanced people though um, such as professionals who just want to take class when they're off um but i would say Catherine morgan has some great beginner ballet classes i have a couple beginner ballet dances and ballet classes skiing or snowboarding neither because i am uncoordinated af but probably skiing how and why did you start ballet i started ballet like as a kid because my parents put me in it but i also started ballet professionally because i saw dancers like svetlana zakharova and i wanted to be them how to stretch safely i have a whole entire playlist devoted to ballerina workouts, which have so many stretching videos. I'll link down below. What's something you hate being asked as a ballerina? Can you do this blitz? Just kidding. I don't really hate any questions people have for me. Um, it's more so like assumptions people have that I don't love. Like, oh, ballerinas don't eat. Oh, ballerinas don't do this. Ballerinas do that. I don't love those assumptions because it's just not true or ballet is easy. I don't mind being asked any questions though, because transparency is key when it comes to life. What were your biggest struggles in dance, particularly Pre-pro, how did you address it or wish you had? I guess my biggest struggles in dance was just catching up to everybody because I did start a bit later than a lot of people. So I think that was probably my biggest struggle. And also just the self-doubt that I had. Like even when I knew I was already stable in my career, I just had a lot of self-doubt. Like what if I get fired? I even think that now. What if I get fired in my job right now? I always think that way. And I'm such a flight person where I have like a minor inconvenience or something that comes my way i just i'm not i don't fight really i've had to almost kind of force myself to fight a little bit more because my well-being is just as important as anybody else's so i wish in the past i guess i had fought a little bit more or also just not cared so when i did get rejection because you're not going to get everything in life i just cared so much i cared too much you know i would just think about it all the time i'm a huge overthinker so i wish i just let go better when it comes to relationships like i don't know it took me so long to get over some relationships and like why why did i waste my time with that even with friendships i'm like i took it so to heart and yeah it's hard when a friend dumps you like i remember my middle school friend literally like deleted me, blocked me on Facebook. I don't know why. She even said later like, sorry, I did that. She, you know, apologized, but I was so hurt for an entire year. Cause you know, you build that friendship and trust with somebody and then just for them to leave you. I took it so personally and I kind of wish I had just gone on with life and been like, they don't want to be in my life. That's not my problem, right? Obviously, if I had done something to them, yes, it is my problem and I should try to fix it and I should try and be a better person, but genuinely, you can't control some people or some outcomes, so it's better to just keep moving, you know, just like a river, keep flowing. Any ballet YouTuber advice? Love your videos. Consistency. I think consistency is key whenever it comes to social media. I always have questions in real life of people asking, like, how did you get started on social media and how did you grow like 100,000 followers overnight on Instagram? And I was like, consistency. I don't think people realize. I post every single day for a year. Now, not so much because I'm lazy, Um, but it's just consistency is key. Consistency and authenticity as well. Where did you dance? I danced at Semper Opera Dresden. I danced in Romanian National Opera. I danced a show called Salute to Vienna with a company in St. Polten. Have you always used Gaynor Mindens? No, I used Freed and then I used Suffolk and then I used Grishko and then I used Russian Point and then I used Freed and then I went back to Gaynor Minden and then I went back to Grishko. Then I went back to Russian Point. Then I went back to Freed and then I'm back to Gainer Mendon. So it's been a large journey. And those are all the questions that I have for now. I'm gonna finish doing my makeup really quick and I'll catch you guys before I leave. I just finished my makeup and I straightened my hair, but I'm gonna go get changed and then head out to the dance competition. I figured I would close out the vlog here and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and until next time, bye now. Been going nowhere lately